Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and today we're going to be reviewing the GT Speed Reader deck from Murphy's Magic. Before we do this review, can you please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications icon if you want. That's a little bell. Uh, down there if you want to be uh, notified of when I go live and when I don't go live and all that kind of stuff and check out carmagiccourse.com that's my online car magic course it's huge now it's ridiculous I've, uh, I've just been adding to my Royal Road to Car Magic course which is one of the many courses you get for your money on there uh, and it's just massive I'm really really proud of it so check it out all downloadable and um, you can leave at any time. Very important. Lots of people say that. Do I have to sign up for a contract? You don't have to do any of that. If you want to leave, you can leave at any time. So there's no pressure. So have a look. You might as well. Uh, right. I'm going to review a Mark's deck of cards now. Uh, I like Mark decks of cards. I like them when you sort of mix them with other things like mem decks and things like that. It's great stuff you can do with them. I'm a big fan of uh, the Elites by DMC and Phil Smith. Huge fan of the Night Flight deck by Steve Della for different reasons. Uh, and I, I like the Marksman deck as well, the Luke Jermaine one. It's got like everything, it's got like an essay written on the back of that, which is great for stage work and, and things like that. So really, really, there's some great stuff out there. So we do, do we need another deck? Uh, not really, but that doesn't matter. It's not that it's not good to have another one and you will find your preference and you'll stick with that. This is fine. It's, uh, it's got, you look at it straight, as it says, speed reading. You know, look at it really quickly, be able to see it. Um, it's, there's nothing to work out on this. You haven't got to learn a code or anything like that. It's right there. Now, they say they've kind of studied eye tracking to see where people look when they look for marks and decks of cards and they've put it in a different place. There's a couple of other things with this. Obviously, the title Speed, Re Speed Reader, easy for me to say, suggests that you'll be able to get the marks very quickly. Now, I still prefer for that uh, Steve's deck or the DMC's Elites, where you can literally deal cards out after practice and it just seems straight away sort of as dealing. With these, for me, I'm kind of, so far I'm looking a little bit more, and when I haven't got my glasses on, there's a little bit more of an issue. Now this isn't, this is the same with loads of Mark decks. So if you're in low light, you're gonna have a bit of a problem. I don't think these are that great for low light. I think you'll be able to work with them, but again, I would prefer those big, massive Marks where you can just go boom, straight me up from the end of the room. Uh, and all that. These aren't that for me. There's a couple of other things you can get the you, for, you can get the marks from a peak here, um, and when you're looking through there, they're at not the obvious place they usually would be. Now again, I'm not sure how important that is, but for these, I will say they're a solid peak. They're in a good position. People are going to look at them and not be able to see them. But I will say, to be totally honest, it did say on the copy that. Even magicians will look at these and not be able to work out where they are. I got it pretty quick. I kind of went like that and went, oh, there they are. Lay people aren't going to be. And I think that with marked decks, if you perform the right kind of routines, it's kind of hidden anyway. You, what you don't want to do is just you know, give them a card and say what it is. But there are lots of things you can do with these. I'd be very happy using these in a professional setting. Um, for the stranger and things like that, I think Mark Dexter are amazing. Because it just removes that. It just adds one step to that impossibility. Uh, but I think they're a decent deck. There's not that much more to say about them, but worth checking out if you want to get a marked deck, uh, the Speed Reader deck. But for me, if you want someone to read from the other side of the room or when you're you know, quite a distance away, these don't come under that category. They're, they kind of come in the more standard marked deck. Uh, and they're in mandolin backs, which is, um, which is always nice. I love a mandolin back card. So it's a good quality mandolin um, back set of bikes. And that's it. So thank you uh, to Murphy's Magic for sending me these. And do use the links below if you want to check them out. Do like, do subscribe, do check out cardmagiccourse.com. Any questions, stick them in the comments. And I'll uh, have a word on the Thursday. The Thursday evenings are the live shows where I'll comment on your comments. Right. Take care. Have a good one. Bye.